fine, make. Where you going? <laughs> what a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of work hey, and all for nothing. The move for some easy money. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the Grand Master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash. But he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it! Our goats! They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention, the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? But wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Hey, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. 
Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Old Hank was mugged for a bottle of water yesterday. Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon. It could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... Uh, a... Craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come round to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Yeah, uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> That to be some. <laughs> Gotta tell you something. <laughs> Just. Hey, hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. Find something you like in the bazaar? <coughs> you look familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. 
Sure. Sometimes I wake up at night and get the ball even happened. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially. No one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim, everyone fights for themselves. Someone's been stealing our water. No reason. recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Bevan says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. 
You're sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottled. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Hounfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. I wouldn't just make a bunch at once, but I, you, your your throwing knives don't get upgraded when you upgrade the blueprint, which makes sense. It just then means that if you build a bunch of them at low level, it's kind of wasted.
Hans? Hans, you there? Hans? What the hell? Stop! <coughs> Don't drink that water! Water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. I'm not one of them. Detected Peter the Wall? What? Did he spawn inside here? Did he follow me? I'm not quite sure what that was about. I, I think he I think he literally spawned there. Maybe he followed me up. I don't know. Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Ah, shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip. Then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Wait, whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. It must be pretty hardcore to be drinking out here. Still doesn't explain why after 15 years you guys only have a church to your name. There's some infected here, but I guess they just totally despawned along with their loot.
hell? Yeah. You can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is Sara. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sara. Hi, Sara. Hi, Sara. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. What, what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? The wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. A man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. Ah. Damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, I, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. 
But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. <laughs> Self-defense. Story and I'm sticking to it. Hi. You guys haven't really noticed me? Okay. I haven't noticed you either. Perhaps you're pretending that if you think you can't see me, that I don't see you. <laughs> okay. Eat one of the guys I just killed, dude.
No Judeans right there, but this is bonus dialogue here. Oh, Babin. Should have known he'd try to get back at us. I'm sorry? Julian sold us flour mixed with plaster once, and Luke complained to Carl. I guess this is Julian's revenge. Julian didn't do it, Babin. It was Marco, his supplier. He, uh, well, he's paid for what he did. Marco's dead. Who cares? Won't help Luke now. I want to be alone. Months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Luke didn't need to die if he was being treated at the clinic, but all right. Hey, what's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flour is yours. Yeah, the flour mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Now keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bebin what happened. Yeah, Bebin already knows. It, it's better if you stay away. I'm going to explore this region and then I'll turn the rec recording back on when I'm ready to do the quests in the area. Uh, I don't want to proceed with the main storyline yet because that will result in the quests disappearing. Sometimes through a consequence of your actions and sometimes because the game plot has moved on. So I'm going to do all the side quests I can first and then we'll move on with the only way out. Today, the wind's blowing from the east. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all, I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. 
But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Now where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Now well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... Whatever it is that you're wearing. I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await. Kick button is also the button when I am trying to vault over an object with extra speed, that is the kick button. So, I jump or kick, like that. Squirrel than mink. Well, I'd better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. If I fall from a larger height, I can use the roll ability. The game only plays music if you're running fast. It only works on like little hops. Just cause he got holes in his shoe. Here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Sure, why not? I sleep! You were sent from above Like a soft turtle dove I wake to the touch of your lips Your hands on my hips My heart does beg for I 
Are you not hypnotized? Are you not enthralled by Lola's voice? I am. That was... otherworldly. Such a compliment! You were such a dear boy. And a terrible liar. But Lola appreciates your kindness. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. The game does a lot of uh, making people leave your site so they can do something such as grabbing the water bottles to give to you, to give to Hans. She put on her meek stall by walking around you. Does a lot of that stuff. I, I really think that since they have the character skeletons made in 3D art, you could easily just animate throwing something around your shoulders, even if it's just a one-time thing. The audiences aren't what they used to be. Landing on a roof too loudly can awaken zombies and to come investigate. here. Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador, and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly home. Anyway, could you? Light a candle for him, young man. You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes, take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Greatest enemy. Is responsible for the black money. I 
I run past it? Oh, it's already there. Hey, Hankel. I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. We're gonna have a history lesson here, lady. Go away. Yeah. Ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, Things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. He was right. This was a lot more interesting than just uh, picking up a note that says people died. More things should be shown like this. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess... We'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Reviver's Trinket. That's a valuable. A sell for profit. 